Poco F5. Back with another new video. This is Xiaomi U, guys. You guys can check out here. Xiaomi U Hyper S 1.0.5.0 is a latest first from available from Poco F5. It has been released recently for Poco F5. Multi language support with 1.0.5.0. Android version is 14 here. And kernel uses 5.10.198 kernel has been used here user interface is really really smooth people across the world flash this round because of smoothness you guys can see really really smooth here and even app opening times you guys can see it's very much cool and responsive here very much smooth guys as you can see with all the tools and this is how the app turn and this is how the Quick settings toggles in the edit section. You also have in these other options if you want to even drag and add them. Very quick and responsive. And you also get that hyperos as you can see. Features. Not just that if I press and hold here. If I can show you in the lock screen, if I can press and hold here, you also get that lock screen customizations will show within a while again this other settings panel very small case in the battery again you get four different modes all are working fine additional features you can check out here and BSNL sim i am using currently 4g support is there i will be showing speed test very soon straight until the end of the video battle life is very good you can check out screen time from here additional settings you get all the necessary languages and input for example languages you can check out on the screen guys you can pause the video and check out whether your language is available or not in this particular ROM guys current keyboard again manage keyboards and other things you can check out on the screen and region again you get all the necessary reasons here better than languages you have every country here again one handed mode which is my personal favorite that's there yet as you can see I have turned on because of the case it's a little bit difficult but the placement is fine I can say guess just shortcuts again launch Google assistant I don't want it and take a screenshot you will get it because I want this to be used as a power button not to be as a assistant and again take a screenshot slide three finger and volume down plus power button if you disable that accidentally you can't use them that will be a beneficial guess partial screenshot again three fingers launch camera again if you want you can enable them i don't want it turn on flashlight double press the power button if you want you can use it once you use it while opening into the camera you will get that options it will be a handy feature guys again definitely you need to use accessibility menu which is my personal favorite you can check out here all the necessary options are given screen recording options is given up to 2k to 1 4k resolution it's there uh 50 mbps frame rate you get 90 and sound source you get all the four different options and orientation everything remains very similar here quick ball which is my again person favorite but least persons use this feature i mean majority of them will definitely not going to use that you can select the shortcuts from here once it's enabled where it is yeah turn on quick ball hide automatically tap swipe yeah here it is you guys can see there's a quick fall features you can actually select the shortcuts from here for example if you don't want home you can select different options based on that screenshot again it will be a handy feature guys again i've done this off because majority of them will not use this floating windows again this is most used feature in Xiaomi's smartphones very very much handy guys if I turn this on again you guys can see you can use whatsapp from here you can use chrome from here you can use messages from here you can use what more you want calculator from here as you can see you can actually press and hold here too you can drag and add here as you can see Multitasking is next level here. You guys can see again. You can side close here. If you want, you can open from here. That's how it is. And again, you guys can check out. This is how it remains. Again, you can minimize, close. That's the floating windows. Very much handy feature. 
definitely people who come for Xiaomi or HyperOS or MIUI, they want to use these options. Fingerprint face unlock, all these options are working fine. I'll show you that. As you can see, fingerprint unlock is very quick and fast here. And even face unlock is also very much fast and accurate. You guys can see on the screen, guys. And using headphones and other things are not a problem here. Even charging support is there. I'll show you. This is how it looks like whenever you upgrade the charger, as you can see. This is how it looks like. That really cool features. I can all the Android 14 features are available with HyperOS features. Display and brightness again. Dark mode looks like this. Very much elegant and classy look you can uh, appeal from this uh, smartphone using that and EU ROM is always meant for features like for example if a press and hold here like wallpapers you get all the five live wallpapers here I'm really liking this no need to separately download and again wallpapers are pre-installed there you can also edit the icons for example if I want to edit this for example gallery you can increase the size of it and even you can change the icon shape for example i want to keep this you can do that from here which is handy and you can see the animations case security application is still kind of new but it is updated to latest version here and everything is working fine guys there is also a game space i will be speaking that with an oil and camera application you get this one and 4k no 60 option anyhow and HyperOS camera, I mean the Linux camera, which is working fine. All the features are working fine for me. Again, dialer also, you'll get the HyperOS dialer here. Everything is really fine, smooth experience I have got from this particular ROM, guys. And if you have any specific questions, you can comment down in the comment section. We'll see the results what I got from this ROM. 11 lakhs, 28,000, 78 is the score what I got without using. Uh, Performance mode, version of Android is 10.2.9 and Geekbench is 774 single score and 3351 multi score. Could have been better. Again, next 5.0.18 kernel has been used. And this is the safety news status and results. And device is certified here. And device can see here Dolby Vision certification has been done. Level 1 certification watching OTT application and using payment applications is not at all a problem in this room. And this is Relate specs with graphical and numericals, and uh, we'll see some of these screenshots I have already shown. I'm going into settings again. If I have left out anything like always on display and all, everything looks very similar to any of the other HyperOS builds. Case what is really matters is the latest build. This is and smoothness in the UI is lot better compared to previous versions of EU ROMs for this Poco F5. Guys, it's really really smooth experience i am facing here i really liking it i've been using it from couple of uh hours now with july security patch you guys can see on the screen again and these are some of the apps like i already explained about camera browser also you get it me mover and other things if you want you can disable them and make it uh, completely disabled from the you i guess uh we'll start with uh, this one quick settings again it's smooth and responsive Auto brightness toggles, everything is fine here. You can't edit them though. It will be on the VN edition only. We'll see PUBG Mobile how it handles in this particular wrong guys. Graphic settings to be smooth plus extreme plus only. I thought I would get a 120 FPS support, but not available here. The viewers can see these are the options you get in the gaming mode. Performance and balance mode has been given. And again, these features my personal favorite bright and saturated. I always skip. And now screen is given brightness, slide refund, easy access. We can enable that. Voice changing features are also given here. You can use them. Uh, this is completely based on HyperOS and you just get extreme plus options there. And the one thing about this one is like in the audio you also get trip down by Atmos settings only in the Arena world. That is simply missing in BGMA as of now. 
Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, this person need land in my ear. I thought he would land in the ocean. Alice, anyhow, you can see how it actually handles. I'm really feeling the smoothness in the gameplay too. Not just the UI, the smoothness from the gameplay is also evident here. You guys can check out that. See the smoothness. I'm really liking the UI guys. It's been a smooth experience as of now. Just after a couple of months and all, we will lose some updates of the apps actually. Apart from that, I would think it's fine, I can say. I will just use the volume. Perfect, here it is. Yeah, that's the sound experience. I will come back and I want to show the internet speed using Wi Fi and also BSNL. 4G actually, 5G has not yet been launched yet. You guys can check out here. I am having 200 Mbps ATL fiber connection. It's pulling up to 360 Mbps, which is insane, guys. I don't even opted for 300 Mbps plan, it's 200 Mbps plan, but I'm getting 360 Mbps. It's insane. Again, I want to shift it to my personal internet here. I want to show this one. Yeah, preferred network type, even if I keep 5G or LTE, it will be showing in 4G only. I'll be showing that. Let me disable the Wi-Fi. Yeah, as you can see, it's still showing H plus here. I thought it will go for 4G. Anyhow, we'll see some internet speed. I'll be turning off and turning on it to 4G again. We'll see what is the speed we are getting in H plus with BSNL SIM. This is what I am getting with H+. I'll change the preferred network type to Morning, I actually got 4G, but what happened now, I don't know. I tried to change the preferred network type to 4G, 5G, 3G, 2G. It's still showing H+, only. If it can show, that would be better. And these are the recent apps. Very smooth interface, guys. Definitely, you should use it as a daily driver. If you are in previous sessions, come back to this new version of Hyper. OS EU and I want to show that the clock screen customizations are also there. No need to worry about that. As you can see, you can edit them. That's really cool. Always on display features are also there. We'll show that also. Like always option is also there. I'll always keep it to always once I use this ROM. I'm happy with the interface and dark theme implementation and everything is fine here. And if you want to use it as a dial driver, you can definitely use it as a daily driver, guys. If you have any specific questions regarding this ROM, comment down in the comment section, guys. And also, subscribe to my channel. This is Sampath, guys. Signing off. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye-bye for now.